Fiona Anderson from Business in Vancouver with us again. Good morning. Good morning. Key number out this morning from Stats Canada. That's right. The numbers for the gross domestic product, GDP, for April were out this morning, and it's not that good. We like the GDP. That's how we measure how the economy is doing. We like it to be positive. We like it because that shows that we're growing and we're a wealthy, healthy economy. Unfortunately, in April, GDP number was down again. If we can just look at the overview aboard, um, GDP was down 0.1% in April. Um, that's the fourth month in a row it's been down, and it's below what economists expected. They expected GDP growth of 0.1%. Uh, what was pushing us down? Goods. The goods sector, which we'll look at in a minute, was down 0.8%. The services sector offset that a bit, being up 0.3%. So what makes up the goods sector? What was pushing us down? Not surprising, oil, gas, and mining. With the price of oil dropping, as it has, as we all know it has, um, that has really slowed down the economy. Now, we thought that'd be a short-term effect, perhaps, because there's some positives, but we haven't seen those yet. So. Um, Mining is also down because the price of commodities is down, the price of coal is down. So both mining and oil and gas is down 6.4% year over year. So 2.6% down in the second quarter, in April. Um, services. Now retail, that's also down 0.2%. That's another one we thought would have actually benefited from lower, or lower oil prices, you know, more people buying gas, but we ha aren't seeing the effect of that yet. A wholesale was the big uh, plus. It was up 1.6%, financial sector was down 0.6%. So what does this all mean? Well. If you remember back in early in the year, at the beginning of the year, the um, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polis said he thought this negative uh, Q1 GDP growth was just showing that all the effects of the lower oil price was front end loaded. It was we're going to suffer and then we're going to rebound. Bank of Canada actually predicted that Q2 GDP growth would be 1.8 percent. They made that prediction in April. Economists are now saying with this bad April showing. It's not going to happen. We could actually have a negative uh, Q2 growth as well, right after Q1 growth. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that it's maybe more likely the Bank of Canada will do another rate cut. Not likely, but more likely. We'll have to wait and see on that one. All right, we'll wait and see for sure. Okay, Fiona, <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you.